Next, let's talk about how to perform community detection by directly optimizing modularity. The basic idea is actually similar to what we have done in recommended system, where rating prediction is evaluated with a metric called RMSE, which is uh, computed using this equation. And we say, say that when optimize RMSE directly, and then we come up with uh, the latent factor model, which did this. And similarly, in community detection, we can do this by rewriting the modularity equation. Let's consider partitioning a graph into two communities. For example, uh, we might partition a graph of six nodes into these two communities. And remember that we can compute the modularity using these equations, right? And we can define a label vector x, which has n elements. So n here is the number of nodes in a graph. And x i is the label of node i. And this means that x i equals to one if the node i actually belongs to group A. And x i will be equal to uh, minus one if node i belongs to group B. So we can see obviously that the two, uh, one over two times x i s j plus one is actually equal to one if i and j are in the same community. And, and the number is zero if i and j are in different communities. And by using these two equations, we can actually rewrite the modularities as the following equation. And since, uh, since this term here, as we said, it's, it's, it's equal to one if i and j are in the same community, and it's, uh, it's equal to zero if they're in the different communities. This term can actually be used to replace the indicator that i and j are in the same community or in the same group here. Therefore, we can rewrite q using this equation. And we can then simplify this equation to this one. And we can see that this is already, already very close to a, uh, to a matrix form. And this is, this is actually what we call a bilinear form with regard to the matrix X. And we get to here using the fact that the sum of ij minus kijj over 2m is actually equal to zero. And Using this equation, we can first construct a matrix B where each entry in the matrix Bij is equal to Aij minus Ki times Kj over 2m. So Bij is, actually, is basically here in this term. Then we can rewrite again the modularity Q using simple linear algebra into this compact form. So basically Q will now be equal to one over four M times X transpose times B times X. And note that X here is the vector and B here is the matrix. And the B here is actually called the modularity matrix. And again, this B I J, each element in, in the matrix B is actually equal to I, A I J minus K I times kj over 2m. And this x here is the label vector of nodes. So x i equals to one if the node i belongs to group A, and it's equal to minus one if the node i belongs to another group, group B. And this f, we can see that it actually represents a community detection result. For example, if x equals to one, 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 minus one, minus one, minus one, and it actually represents a community detection result as follows, where node one, two, three are in the same community, group A, and four, five, six is in another community, group B. So now with this equation, we can actually rewrite and formulate the community detection problem as an optimization problem, where we try to find the best label vector S such that the modularity is maximized. Basically, it's uh, 
it can be written into this equation or trying to maximize, uh, try, try to find the vector x that maximize the q, where q equals to this equation.